Hey there, fellow electricity enthusiasts. Welcome back to Electricity Frenzy, your go-to channel for all things electrifying. Today, we have an electrifying topic to discuss, what happens when you connect a 110 volts hair dryer to a 220 volts outlet. It's important to know this, as it can help us avoid any hair raising accidents. So, let's dive right into the details and get informed about this hair drying conundrum. Imagine this scenario, you're traveling to a country with a different electrical system, and you unpack your trusty 110 volts hair dryer. But wait! The outlet in your new destination is rated at 220 volts. Uh oh, that's twice the voltage. What's going to happen if you plug in your hair dryer without the right gear? Before we get into the potential hazards, let's grasp the concept of voltage. Voltage is the pressure that pushes electric charges through a circuit. In the USA, the standard household voltage is 110 volts, while in some other countries, like in Europe, it's 220 volts. Now, here's the catch. When you connect a 110 volts hair dryer to a 220 volts outlet, you have a significant voltage mismatch. The hair dryer is designed to operate at 110 volts, and the outlet is providing double that amount of voltage. Yikes! When you plug in the 110 volts hair dryer to the 220 volts outlet, the first thing you'll likely notice is the hair dryer working at an excessively high speed. It might feel like it's on overdrive, and you might think, hey, this is cool. Faster drying time. But hold on, it's not a good thing. The increased voltage can cause severe damage to the hair dryer's sensitive electronic components. The internal circuitry of the hair dryer is designed to handle 110 volts, but with 220 volts flowing through it, it can become overwhelmed. This voltage overload can lead to the malfunctioning of the electronic parts, and in some cases, it might even fry them completely. One of the most critical components affected is the heating element. The heating element is designed to operate at a specific voltage to generate the right amount of heat for safe hair drying. When exposed to double the voltage, it can be damaged or burned out. This means your hair dryer might not blow hot air anymore, and you'll be left with a disappointing cold breeze. Aside from damaging the hair dryer itself, the increased voltage also poses a significant fire risk. The excessive voltage can cause the hair dryer's internal wiring to heat up excessively, increasing the chance of an electrical fire. We definitely don't want our hair dryer turning into a flaming torch, right? To avoid this hair raising situation, you have two main options. The first one is to use a voltage adapter, also known as a plug adapter. This device will physically adapt the shape of the plug to fit the foreign outlet, but it won't change the voltage. So, it's not suitable for high-powered devices like hair dryers. For our hair dryer, we need option 2, a voltage converter, also called a transformer. This magic box will convert the incoming 220 volts voltage to the desired 110 volts, allowing your hair dryer to work safely and as intended. Before using any voltage converter, though, check your hair dryer's label or manual. Some modern hair dryers come with a dual voltage feature, meaning they can work with both 110 volts and 220 volts systems. If your hair dryer has this feature, then you can simply use the appropriate plug adapter. So, dear electricity enthusiasts, remember to be cautious when dealing with different voltages and electrical appliances. A simple voltage mismatch can turn your hair drying routine into a disaster. Always use the right voltage converter or a dual voltage hair dryer to keep your main and yourself safe and sound. If you found this information helpful, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to Electricity Frenzy for more electrifying content. Stay charged and stay safe. See you in the next video.